Dr. Irigal, thank you so much for being here today. Let's say I needed gallbladder surgery. What would some of my options be? Okay, well, uh, there are a number of options and uh, that is based on our assessments of the symptoms, our review of the tests that will be done to ascertain this, and if we come to a conclusion that uh, gallbladder surgery is necessary, uh, then uh, there are a number of options. We have been doing what is known as single-site cholecystectomy. This essentially is removal of the gallbladder by a small incision around the belly button as opposed to multiple incisions. With single-site cholecystectomy, we are able to hide the actual scar inside a natural scar, which is the belly button, the umbilicus. So after we're done with the incision and it's healed, it leaves virtually no sign of its presence. And it's almost as if there were no scars at all. So huge aesthetic benefits with this approach. Okay, so what is the benefit then, obviously, besides the physical aspect of just having one incision, what is the difference and what is the benefit between a single site surgery and laparoscopy? Absolutely. So, obviously, the aesthetic advantages are huge. It is uh, very appealing to many people not to have too many scars in their abdomen if one scar, one scar that is well hidden in the umbilicus can do it. But besides that, there are other very important advantages of this new type of uh, surgery. This surgery nowadays is best undertaken using the latest robotic technology with the Da Vinci system. With that, not only we are able to make precise movements when we do the surgery with the help of the robot, but also the robotic system gives us excellent visualization. The high-definition picture with the robotic system is unprecedented in its clarity. And that allows us the ability to do very precise surgery by identifying all necessary structures very clearly. In addition, when we're using the robotic system, we can use a new technology known as the Firefly technology. This actually allows us to color the various structures with particular colors that tell us what the structures are. In fact, the bile tree, the structures holding bile, can be colored green with this technology. Now, what are some of the complications or potential complications associated with single-site surgery? Single-site surgery, like any surgeries, does carry a potential for complications. As I said before, because the surgery affords this great visualization, some of the other potential complications that are traditionally seen with gallbladder surgery are decreased. Nevertheless, a potential for complications is always present, whether it's bleeding, whether it's infection, whether it's hernia, or damage to important structures. These things can happen, but fortunately, they are not very common. Okay, so are you saying that there is little or no pain associated with single-site surgery? Well. Although single site surgery it does very well to hide the actual incision, uh, the incision is still there. So some discomfort is obviously present. But that discomfort obviously is a discomfort of a small single incision as opposed to multiple incisions. Now, I personally have a very busy lifestyle, so I would really want to get back to my normal activities and get back to work faster. How long would I be in the hospital for, and when would I be able to get back to work in my normal activities? Well, uh, typically, most people go home the same day. In terms of return to work, most people will be able to go back to work within five to seven days after the surgery. This obviously depends on the uh, type of work that they do. Uh, in some instances, it's, the recovery time could be even shorter than that. I also like to stay active, I like to exercise often, so when would I be able to get back to working out again? So uh, some degree of exercise is encouraged from the get-go. However, the activity level has to be gradually increased, so we want people to be walking as soon as uh, possible after the surgery. Exercises that may require movement and straining of some of the core abdominal muscles will have to wait until an office visit typically within 10 to 14 days after the surgery, and it can be determined at that time. Dr. Irigal, thank you again so much for being here today, and thank you all for tuning in.